Baseball teams hit the diamond tonight despite the weather. In the Northwoods League, the Rochester Honkers hosted the Minnesota Mud Puppies. The Honkers got on the board first tonight. Take a look at this right here. Honkers Paul Schenfeld at the plate. And that one is gone. Rochester extends its lead up three to nothing in the third inning. And Honkers Luca DiPaolo makes contact, but a familiar face in right field. Easton Fritcher from Hayfield makes the catch there to end the inning. The Mud Puppies are up to bat. Take a look at this catch. A sliding catch for Honkers Ryan Tiger. Rochester got the win tonight, knocking off the Mud Puppies 8-2. Let's take a look at a few final scores from Iowa high school baseball and softball teams in regular season action tonight. In softball, the West Fork Warhawks knocked off the Clear Lake Lions 2-1. And in baseball, the Mason City Riverhawks fell in a close one to the Des Moines East Scarlets 7-6. The U.S. Paralympic Swimming Trials kicked off today in Minneapolis and two University of Northern Iowa athletes are trying to punch their tickets to Paris. Olivia Chambers and Callie Prochaska are competing to try to qualify for Team USA's Paralympic Sim Wow, I can't speak right now, I'm so sorry. Paralympic Swim Squad. Today, Chambers came in second in the 100 meter breaststroke with a time of 119.53 and Prochaska got second in the 100 meter breaststroke in her category with a time of 144.99. Chambers is competing in two races tomorrow and Prochaska has one race tomorrow. The U.S. Gymnastics Olympic trials are here too. Athletes are hitting the mat at the Target Center in Minneapolis. The men's competition kicked off tonight. Frederick Richard leads the way after day one with a score of 85.6. Richard is the youngest individual world medalist in U.S. history. And day two for the men is on Saturday. Well, the women hit the bars and the mat for a practice round this morning, including Olympic gold medalist and Minnesota native Suni Lee. I love her so much. Um, you know, we were roommates in Tokyo, and I've known her for a very long time. So knowing that we're in her hometown and that there's going to be millions of supporters out there supporting her, I think the biggest thing for us as teammates is just to know that, you know, we're here to support you. We're here to do everything that we can to make sure you're good. And the women's competition starts at 640 tomorrow night at the Target Center. Switching to the hardwood, the Minnesota Timberwolves added a few new names to the roster in the 2024 NBA Draft. Take a look at the Wolves' first round pick. Minnesota traded up for two future picks to get the Spurs' eighth pick in the first round, Kentucky guard Rob Dillingham. This is video from his collegiate career. And with the 27th pick, the Wolves added Illinois guard Terrence Shannon Jr. Minnesota made some moves today, trading Wendell Moore Jr. and a pick along with adding forward Bobby Clintman from Sweden. Wolves president Tim Connolly says the organization is trying to build on last season's success. We have a core group that's committed, it's locked up. We have a great coach, great coaching staff. If you can ensure those things are in place, you, know, you can't ensure wins and losses, but you can ensure the type of people that you have working together. And I think we're all kind of tethered to, to the same goal. It's you know, kind of a no-brainer. You work the success that you've had, and each year we've gotten better and better. And the University of Minnesota Golden Gopher was drafted today to freshman shooting guard Cam Christie was chosen by the Los Angeles Clippers. Christie is the fourth Golden Gopher to be selected in the draft since 2012.